Right now it is 8.15 p.m. on Christmas Eve and I am at Target. Now the reason why I'm here has everything to do with the fact that uh, I forgot a couple items I got to get today. I got forgot a couple of last minute items here uh, and where I'm at in Olympia, Washington, this is quite frankly the only, the only place that's open right now. And the reason why it's the only place that's open right now is because it's a godless corporation who has no care or love for its for its 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 employees who may want to be home with their family on Christmas. I don't know. I I, I think it's gonna be it's just gonna be fun to walk around and check it out. So here's here's what I'm gonna do. I haven't done an exploring video in a while. I haven't done an exploration video in quite some time. And I thought it'd be fun to check out what's going on in Target uh, and see what's going on. And, uh, and, then, and then let you guys know how bad it is on Christmas Eve at Target of Olympia, Washington. The store is pretty busy, except for the back part over here by the pharmacy, where you're not gonna find a lot of people, probably because this isn't, you know, hot ticket item for Christmas morning. You know, like blow dryers aren't gonna fit in stockings. Old Spice. $10 worth of Old Spice. That seems like fun. Although, that's not bad. That's actually not bad at all. You know, the older I get, the more I start thinking about when I might have to start wearing these, because you know, I'm near 40, I kind of feel it's getting about that time, right? No, I'm kidding, but I just get, you gotta love the ads for it, right? Look at this guy right here. He proudly rocking his, his gray Depends, and it's right across the way from all the condoms. Really, really shows you the duality of life, right? Here you got the Depends. Over here, all the condoms. Good times, fun times, right? I mean, look at that up there, it's a vibro touch. And then over here, it's the, so you're incontinent and uh, you still wanna live a full, full, full life. Getting old totally sucks. I came across this uh, testosterone test that, uh, is $45 marked down from 60. So that's that's not a bad uh, Christmas Eve special right there. Do you need to know if you have testosterone or you have too much soy in your system? I have a feeling like Alex Jones fans are gonna be uh, all over this. Nothing says we live in a society quite like coming over here to the as seen on TV aisle and looking at how empty it is. I mean, you can get one more of these as seen on TV finishing touches removes hair or free digital TV, or tack glasses, which allows you to see clearly without the glare. I mean, all the stuff we see on TV that is pretty pointless and useless, but people buy it up anyway, with the exception of, well, actually, I kind of see why this is still here, yeah. I mean, snuggy tails. Nothing says I love you, like giving your child half a sleeping bag and calling it a mermaid. I did find this uh, Dio plushie, which is actually pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I really, really like the character in the movie and, uh, you know, but I don't know if it's worth the $20 that they're charging for it. So I found this uh, Star Wars special action figure set and uh, check this out. Look at this here. Vader looks kind of like small. Yoda looks fine, but look how jacked Luke is. Look how big his arms are. Mark Hamill has never been that ripped. He probably has 1800 of these in his own home. Even with, oh look, it's got different hands for him. <laughs> it's got different hands. If you were wondering why YouTube's gonna go to hell in 2020, it literally is this kid right here and these kind of toys. I'm not even making that up. It really is the reason. It's the reason why we have Kappa. You know, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets is one of my favorite ones. And I have to admit, I really like this display. Cause check this out. Look at that. It's just pretty cool that they built it up like this, even though I uh, think it's all way too expensive now. So this is the Lego Movie 2 section, and you can see how many toys went unsold. I mean, just so many went unsold. And this is actually one of the reasons why Warner Brothers basically has ditched the brand. They're not making any more of these movies, and this franchise is now done. Oh, wow, they've got all the new re-releases of Star Wars. Kind of seems pointless now that I have Disney+, Plus, but at the same time, I really do like these new redesigns, and they're not bad at 20 bucks a pop, so... I mean, that's a pretty sweet Empire Strikes Back poster right there, as well as this one. And they're all color-coded too, even the green of Jedi is pretty great. Force Awakens, and then, ugh, The Last Jedi. You know Hellboy did really terribly 
when the Blu-ray right there, as well as the DVD, are literally the same price. Or off by one penny. For one penny more, you get the Blu-ray. I mean, that's just a good deal. I don't care who you are. Well, they've got the Cara Dune and IG-11 Funkos, which are pretty cool. But uh, no Mandalorian, so no purchase for me. Remember how everybody freaked out at the Hocus Pocus sequel that's coming? Well, apparently, they have a book. And this is a New York Times bestseller. Uh, picks up 25 years after the events of the first movie with the kid from the main characters who hooked up, bumped pelvises, and popped out a youngling. I don't quite know how I feel about this, but uh, I have a feeling this is probably going to end up being the plotline of the second movie. So that's just one more thing for Disney to sh shit out. So the Division 2 is... um. Really, 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 really cheap now. Look at that. 12 bucks. I think I need to buy it just out of, like, necessity. And, like, that's too good of a deal to pass up. Okay, so I'm back in my car getting ready to go home. Uh, ended up uh, getting recognized by, uh, by a viewer, so that was fun. Talked to him for a few, then ran completely out of time and had to get back to my car to go. As we can see, this place has a lot of people still in the parking lot. Even though there's 45 minutes left of being open, Target is the place to be in Washington tonight, at least Olympia, Washington. So if you guys like this video, if you guys want to see more, more explorations, again, let me know because uh, I have fun doing these, but I do want to make sure that there is at least an audience for it. Anyway, guys, have yourself a Merry Christmas. Ho, 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 and peace out.